So with Lopetegui gone and four managers interviewed, Frank Lampard counts his days as caretaker manager. With the board ready to announce who our new manager is today, they wait on Frank as he talks to an Arsenal player. Yes, people, straight into this one, and it's a weird one, because Frank Lampard's gone to talk, and we are here in the aftermath of two goals from this man, and then three from this man. Our new signing, if you haven't seen it, Sheshko, the striker. Absolutely unreal. Just look at that record of the top two. We've got one with five goals, and then one with two goals. But we've only got one goal at the moment, and that is to see what Frank Lampard's gone and done with an Arsenal player. As this is straight after the game, and this is back at West Ham, is that Declan Rice? Our old midfield maestro? Declan, good to see you, and thank you for coming back to West Ham, which I know once was your home, and that's why I'm here to speak to you. I think you should come back. Now, I'm not saying I'll be your manager, but West Ham are doing something here. I can just feel it, and you should be a part of it. You finished eighth last season with Arsenal. Come on! The fans will forgive. You can play centre mid and centre back here? I don't know, Frank. I just think Arsenal's a bigger club. Besides, will the fans really take me back here? Yes, they will. Now, I'm going to speak to the West Ham board, but make the right decision. Your career is not long enough. As now this is Frank Lampard going back to the chairman, saying, look, I know you might be replacing me as manager. And in fact, the chairman butts in saying, yes, we know our replacement now. But go on, Frank, spit it out. We know someone was in this office earlier. Just give me a little chance to try and sign Declan Rice. The kid reminds me of myself. And of course, I think we can do it. Frank, I'll be frank with you. We do have a lot of money, but with the new manager we're getting, we actually want to give him it. As Frank says, come on, just let me have this signing. I'm not going to mess West Ham up. Let me go and do this. As here he is, Declan Rice, 26 years old, 88 rating, could be a marquee signing. And it looks like we've got the green light. This is on deadline day as well. We're going to offer 75 and they want 106. Call it 100 and take that sell-on clause off. Come on, 100 million pounds for Declan Rice back. As ladies and gentlemen, what a huge signing. Back in an iron shirt, Declan Rice. As the papers won't leave that alone, Declan Rice back at West Ham. Pressure, positive, negative move for the midfield maestro. They can say whatever they want, as after that deal's gone through with Arsenal, they actually want Harry Maguire, but I am not going to sell him. In fact, I want to keep most players here, as we do have an injury to one as well, Iberice Eze. He's got a bruised shoulder for four days, but he should be back for Brighton as we've got a relatively easy month and I do want to try West Ham or Declan Rice at West Ham in a huge game as Guido. Of course, we've said he's been off form, so Declan Rice in the middle and this is our new look irons and potentially our final irons. There's nine million only left. We will see more bids flying in, but before that, Who's our new manager? As ladies and gentlemen, it's the second time I'm actually saying that, but welcome to West Ham, our old rival Emery. Yes, can you believe it is Unai in charge of us? He hated Lopetegui and Lopetegui hated him. But now he's in charge of this team and he will take charge against Brighton Hove Albion, which we're going to have to play now under his new tactics. As he's going to sit down with Jose Gaia, a good choice of player, because he was Lopetegui's first signing. Jose, I just want to start off with no hostility. I'm here to do a job and I know you was loyal to the old manager. He didn't like me and I didn't like him, but that is all in the past now and we only focus on West Ham. I think you've put it quite well there. I did like Lopetegui's tactics, but it doesn't matter to me who signs me or not. You're the the West Ham manager and I am here to listen. A new look West Ham and it is a little bit saddening because of course we got in the Champions League with a lot of loyal lads last year. Apart from the manager snaking us as Declan Rice wrong side of his man. That could have been a bad start 
Lunin keeps his manager in it. Can't forget about Lopetegui as well. He was sacked as manager of Aston Villa, as that's a good slip. Sheshko, can he look for Cunningham? No, he was tackled, but Bowen keeps on running. Jared Bowen's been quite poor. Across towards now Theodore. Ryan is at the back. You can see we're a little bit more open, maybe tactically wise, but then again, Declan Rice should be sitting better. As here he is, he likes to go forward as well. Rice on his West Ham re-debut. West Ham's debut, boy. Re-debut, whatever you want to call it. Declan Rice scores and he will celebrate with the English lads that already know him from international duty. What a finish. Fine finish as well as now Lucas Paqueta. What can he do? The Brazilian passes it inwards. Benjamin Sheshko, a good touch. Very dominant first half as he also takes set pieces. Rice, can he cross the ball as well? He does have Sheshko to aim for. Oh, oh, what, what is happening though in this team? We're good going forward, but defensively looks shocking. We have to cut out some of these errors if we are going to play in Europe soon as Paqueta looks for another. A good long shot from the midfielder. Like him with Declan Rice because, of course, he can get more expressive. Go a little bit further forward. Cunningham back to Manuel Akanji. Close as come on. I know we're keeping a clean sheet somehow, but I just feel dodgy at the back. As Jared Bowen, that is a terrible ball. Not great at putting crosses in, is he? As Cunningham play that back instead. Goes around Bowen into Sheshko. Looking for Paqueta. As changes have been made, we've gone with Leonardo. Not Sheshko's day. His day was against Arsenal. As Somerville to kill this game off. Ball inside. Leonardo with a good touch. Had to score. Pushed away. And not at a great moment because we need to kill this game off. It is good pressure from Cunningham. Leading to Leonardo. Trying to cut inside. But still... I think we've won this fixture. You now, you must be delighted with your first win as West Ham boss. And yes, I am. It's a good feeling and we deserved it. But we must not stop here. The preparations have started for the big testers in the Champions League, which all the lads are definitely very excited for. As here is our group. And it's not the worst thing at all. We've got Slavia Praha in there, which our Czech boys should know well. Being a Czech team and then Lenz and Leverkusen. They're going to be the a tricky challenge if you didn't know about real life via Leverkusen actually knocked West Ham out on their road towards the Europa League final as we look to be going for Champions League again zero defeats so far we shouldn't have had two draws that's quite disappointing Nottingham Forest and Newcastle above us now that is not what I expected and I also didn't expect this Jose Gaia is Unai's captain so the man loyal to the old manager actually loyal to the new one more we're gonna have to actually put to the test though how loyal he really is with RC Lens away on one of them Wednesday night. Is this a prime Champions League night? Lens against West Ham. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but it certainly is ours right now. Very excited about this one as I made sure to dash the away kit on, or the third kit, should I say, as Paqueta, early ball over to Shashko, ready to fire. That should have been an early goal, you know. Good block, because I've also gone with this man, Eberiche Eze, back from his injury and into the box. It is Eze on a Champions League night. He misses the first chance, but not the bloody second. Eze in for Cunningham, back from that injury, and he went in for fitness reasons, and he's shown he's well and fit enough. Stumbling on my words, like the lens defenders stumbled around him. Brilliant finish. And it's good to keep him on his toes there. The goalie not alert enough because you've got to be up and saving the second shot as Kudus. Could he try and find a good ball through to Eze again if he's onside right here? What a ball up to Eze. The goalkeeper, where's he going? It is 2-0 and an Eze brace. This is getting stilly now. This is our Champions League debut. Cannot be going any better. Especially for that man, Eze. Do we get to appreciate the pass, though? No, it's not even on the replay. Kudus, take a bow. That ball was superb. Special goal, special man. But Len should have been back in it. How no one's jumped on that, I will never know. A perfect chance. Hey, if they don't want to score and leave the scoring just for us to do, I'll accept that bloody fully. A Sheshko on the turn. Put his scoring boots away this month as Eze. Come on, you're on a hat-trick spin. 
Be unselfish. Kudus fed you. You feed him as a ball across the box to Bowen. Jared Bowen just doesn't score. Not in his DNA is now Sheshko left with a lot of space. Look at the close control. It's brilliant. And he lays it off. Bowen, please, finally. Jared Bowen, roof of the net. West Ham enjoying Europe. And he is going to block out the haters because he hasn't played well for about a year. But now, a goal in his champs debut. And a fine one at that. Look at that. A spin from Sheshko. And that finish, I mean, the keeper's been good, but he's not that good. Never saving that one as Declan Rice skips away. Declan Rice, can he join in or get an assist to Mo Kudus? So unlucky not to score, but there is the full-time whistle. What a debut in the Champs League. West Ham 3, Lens nil. And following on from that, some good results in the league. We have took our first defeat. I think that came to Southampton. But I've been simming on. And of course, I am going to simulate Leverkusen here because we play them again today. And the first game, a 3-2. Eze loving the Champions League. That's a hat-trick. A hat-trick in here against Bayer Leverkusen for West Ham United. Just a shame for this guy, Theodore Cunningham on the bench. His dribbling's amazing, everything, but he just can't get past Eze again. Like every time he's done well, someone just knocks him back a peg or two as we're knocked back 2-1 by West Ham at Old Trafford. And guess who got the goal? You're right, Eberiche Eze, now an 86 rating. Got an 8.29 so far. That's fantastic. And as I've been simming, we have picked up an injury. Could you actually script this game? Just stop and think about it. Eberiche Eze, broken tibia, five months out. I just don't believe it as well. I was just simming game to game. We've had a good run through this month. Yeah, two defeats, but we've gone through in the cup. We've picked up another UCL win and we've beaten Luton. But this comes before our North London derby, which could be the final one at home. And Cunningham's time to shine, I guess. As he's back into the 11 and on the ball straight away here, it's a wet and damp and rainy, horrible day here in London. Hopefully made better with a derby win. What a ball to Mo Kudus on the angle. Just hits the chest of Vicario. Manager looking unhappy. I don't know. That was a good move as I saw Cunningham fall over there. And Kudus looking for Sheshko again. It might fall to Cunningham again. Falls to Sheshko and it's missed. And one player I haven't mentioned yet who should absolutely love this rivalry. Declan Rice going for one from range. Ex-Arsenal now. And a West Ham United player as Paqueta goes short with the corner. Can we hit this near post? Jared Bowen somehow got a yellow card. We dominant in every game as Bowen. That's a good spin away, you know. Jared Bowen across the deck. Come on, take a chance. Wasting all that early dominance, but the second half is already amongst us and Shesko slipping through Paqueta. Lucas Paqueta, early in the half, has to score. No excuse, unless he gets an assist or a pre-assist or whatever he's going to get right now. Jose Gaia, that's got to be handled. Got away with murder, Dragosin, as Sonny getting away from Wambasaka. Hyun Min Son in the box. We've got to watch the chance. How has Son... Always got the better of us. I hate human son in FIFA, not in real life, of course. Finding ourselves behind, but no kudos. We like to reply against these very early on. I mean, Vicario didn't catch it. Eze would have been following up. He did against Lens as a good header, and now Cunningham to drill at them. Come on, Kudus, move out the way. It's a good move from Cunningham. He finds Edson Alvarez. What is he doing forward? And what is he doing scoring? Another one blocking out the noise. I don't get why he's doing it. He's a fan favourite. The centre-back goes forward and scores. You can see I've pushed the team forward. So now we've got to get forward. Come on, it's James Madison. Lucas Paqueta has been amazing in this second half. Paqueta picks up on it. Cunningham through, and that is a ball straight through. It's come all the way from Paqueta's tackle. Cunningham, no. He had to score. So written in the stars as the ball falls to him from the corner. Maybe written in the stars for Rice. Referee, that's got to be a penalty. Controversial London derby as Rice should have had a penalty. You can see the West Ham fans agree, but then the Spurs one's not so much. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below and you can see down below us in the UCL. Leverkusen, four points. And before we get into that game... Declan Rice in that injury broke his toe for three months. Great stuff. Oh, brilliant. We've got Sheshko on a red card. 
Rice with an injury, a Kanji with an injury. This is looking woeful. Luiziao returns. I hate having this guy around the squad. I'm sorry. I don't mean to hate on him. I just know he's not good enough. So are we good enough to get the win against Bayer Leverkusen? A draw. Still, somehow, they've got Ferguson, Boniface, Makoko and Verts I saw on that list as we do top our UCL group. And that means in the round of 16, we have Atletico Madrid. But when I switch to the Premier League, this, a 12th place finish so far in the Premiership, has really caught me by surprise.